Hello and welcome to part 1 of my June 2013 update. In this video I will show you the first live titles I've got so far this month. At the time of recording I've still got part 3, 4 and 5 to put on to my channel. So those will go up probably the same time as this. And probably not the best quality ones I've ever done. But they're about 20 minutes each, I didn't, didn't really want to re uh, refilm them, so I'm going to leave, leave them as they are. So uh, I will start with the left hand pile here. Uh, the first one is the Resident Evil Collection, and this is the first four films. So we've got Resident Evil, Resident Evil Apocalypse, Resident Evil Extinction, and Resident Evil Afterlife. That was one I've already got in the steelbook. The other three I don't own. Uh, this was about nine quid when I got this. I've been wanting it for a while, waiting for the price to drop. Can probably get the other th three, the first three in steelbook form, but I'm not too bothered. I've seen them about. So that's that one. We've also got the fifth one, which isn't in that box set, as a still book. Next one, a film I'm not very familiar with. Um, saw it on Play. I think it was on Amazon. I can't remember, can't remember which one it was now, but actually, it was Amazon, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was about four four pound fifty. And I've read a couple of reviews of it, and decided to pick it up. One there. Um, next few are ones that came out on the 3rd of June and ones I've had in the last few days. First one is another John Wayne film. This is Hondo. And it doesn't list any special features on the back, but I've just checked the disc and it's got all the extra features which were on the special edition DVD. Been watching the westerns I've bought recently, not seen this one yet. So, got a few films planned up that I'm going to watch next. So, once I watch those, I'll add that to the list. Next one is 12 Angry Men, although there aren't 12 people on the cover. There's only 8. Don't know where the 4 are. And again, this is a title I owned on DVD. I have seen this. And don't think the DVD had any special features on there. This Blu ray has, though. Yeah, commentary by Drew Casper. It's always worth listening to. And other people will notice are good on these uh, commentaries or producing featurettes are. Someone who was on the Hondo Blu-ray, and that's Leonard Moulton. They have a lot of knowledge about history of film and particular genres. That's the original version of that, by the way. There was a remake, which is not available on Blu-ray. I don't think it's on DVD. Well, I'm not seeing it. Anyway. Uh, next one is a, another Clint Eastwood film. To join the ones that came out a few weeks ago, and this is Hangem High. And don't think this has got any extra features on here. The DVD didn't have any anyway, so it's not really missing anything in that case. Not seen this, or if I've seen this, it was a long time ago, I can't remember. that one. Next one is the latest Disney film and this is Wrecked Ralph. Now I don't really buy Disney uh, films normally. I will buy Steelbook ones which Jungle Book and Little Mermaid are out later this year. Aladdin is due soon but this is all about sort of early video game uh, characters 
an era I grew up in and a film that appealed to me this is the 3D version and this is number 51 in the classics range not a slip cover with this would do nice probably a steel book for this but then again you wouldn't have had the 3D disc in so those are not too bad and then some extra features on there not probably a lot on there I'm sure there's probably more on the US disc again I'll be watching that shortly probably if not this month probably early next month next one is surprisingly a Scorsese film I've never owned on DVD never owned it at all and this is the last temptation of Christ don't think I ever saw the DVD of this anyway or I wasn't too bothered at the time but uh, come out on Blu-ray it was a good time to pick it up not any extra features of note on there as an interview this was released in the US on Criterion and showed sure a lot more extra features on there just a box standard release a lot of these are neat about £8.50 anyway so weren't a lot it's got quite a good cover next one yet another Clint Eastwood film although it's not western and this is Escape from Alcatraz and I'm sure most of you have probably seen this at some point directed by Don Siegel who directed Dirty Harry and some other the early or not really early is it, um, 70s Clint, e uh, Clint Eastwood films so he's based on a true story basically as in short home redemption is trying to escape although different plots but same sort of principle next one this is a title I've shown you in my in-depth collection look as part of the 20th Century Fox Studio Classics and this is the Sand Pebbles with Steve McQueen of Shatambra special features on there Let's see I'm assuming these are the same ones on the DVD I'm, I've not checked I can focus on there very well nope don't want any focus Anyway, just uh, you know, there's commentary on there. Trivia track, which will be come up when you watch the film. Um, making of and some of the stuff on there as well. Again, not seen this film before. Talked about um, Robert Wise, who did West Side Story. Is that one? Next one is Funny Girl and this is Barbara Streisand and Omar Sharif again this is title I owned on DVD I think there's a I'm sure there was a, another one in the box set of this um, Funny Lady and some extra features on here again same as the DVD again the one I've not seen before and this is a musical next one is Pattern I've got this um, still book of this I'll, I'll show you that in one of my in-depth videos and yeah, this is the, the Blu-ray release course. I don't think it's got all the extra features carried over. It's got a commentary and the introduction. And the only thing I'm not sure about this, this got re-released in the US with a new transfer and there were conflicting 
opinions about which transfer this is. Um, people saying it's the new transfer. Now the US disc new one also has an extra, I think it's a DVD of extra features, which are region one in the DVDs and the Blu-ray is region A locked. So unless you've got a multi-region player, it won't play. So I mean, if it's missing the extra features, I've got and the same ones I've got on DVD, and they are on, are on DVD anyway. Then it's not a loss. Um, rather, it was the new transfer on this, so I'm not sure. I know when Casablanca came out, re-released as Steelbook, Warner Brothers just used the old transfer, and Gangs of New York as well. I think that was that title that got a new transfer in the US, which we haven't had in this country yet. So I'll, I'll try and find out and I'll let you know in the video which transfer is on this one. Next one, and this one's got John uh, James Stewart and John Wayne in, and this is the man who shot Liberty Valance. Again, another western. Um, not check this disc to see what extra features are on here. Um, DVD hasn't got any on, so again, not much of a loss really. And this was also £8.50, so didn't cost a lot of money. Again, I think I've seen this, but it would have been a few years ago. Alright, another one. One of the many 3rd of June releases. This is Marathon Man, starring Dustin Hoffman. Also, never seen this before. I've got the DVD. I've just checked this Blu ray, and there are no X feats on there at all. Um, DVD has got some on. So, as usual, Paramount, like they did with. Chinatown, put the extra features on the US disc and not the UK one. Don't think the US one's out yet. I will check to see if it is out or when it's out and see what's on the disc. I mean, I've got the DVD with the features on there, but I'd rather have them on the Blu ray if I can. I mean, the Hondo one, which I showed you not too long ago, that's Paramount, they put the extra features on there, so. Can't even really work out the logic with that. Next couple are ones I picked up in the HMV clearance sale. And I must say I was very disappointed with that. Um, I had an email about it and saw people's pictures of ones that got in the sale on Blu-ray.com and didn't get the chance to go on Saturday, so I went to the Merry Hill store on Sunday and there wasn't a lot. And what there was, I either already had, or it wasn't actually any cheaper than I would have paid. So this is one I got first, Lahane. And like a lot of these Optimum uh, Studio Canal releases, no extra features on here at all. Not referring to new titles, just ones they get released on Blu-ray, which is already come out on DVD. But I've got the DVD, so... Got them on there. But the Grifters, I think, was another one without any features on, and there's another one I can't think of at the moment. But and it's got really, really good picture quality and sound on there. So in a way, like, that's probably one of the main things when it comes to Blu-ray. Next one is one I was going to pick up in the play clear and sell a while back, and I think I was also saw it on Amazon. A um, bit more than I actually paid for this. This was also three ninety nine, like Lahane. And then this is Synecdoche, New York, with Philip Seymour Hoffman. Same as the DVD in terms of features. It even says DVD extras on there, although it's a Blu-ray. And this is one of the ones I've not watched. This is directed by Philip Kaufman. Oh, Charlie, it's not Philip Kaufman, is it? Charlie Kaufman. And... What's this on there? 
and why they need to put it's now finally available on DVD and Blu-ray when you've got the thing in your hand. Doesn't make much sense. I'm not sure what the picture quality of this is like. Don't think it's particularly brilliant, but just bend the DVD. That's the main thing. It's got a few more to do. Try and give, keep this under 20 minutes. Some steel books now. Um, this is one that came today. And this is with Nell and I. This is the Studio Canal release. I've got the Blu-ray of this, the Anchor Bay release. Uh, the differences are the Anchor Bay has got extra features on there, this hasn't. And I think this is a slightly different aspect ratio. This is 1.77 to 1, I'm not sure what the other one was, it was 1.85. Not too sure. Um, this is embossed. So I did watch the Blu-ray, this the one I've already got a few weeks ago. So I haven't seen it for a while. I fancy watching it again. So it's got DVD and a Blu-ray in there as well. There was a DVD still book of this as well, which I've, I've got. Again, I'll show you that in another video at some point. There's that one there. So Next one. And this is definitely sold out, if anybody hasn't got this. This is Finding Nemo, and it's all embossed there. And that's not a scratch on the side. I'm not sure what the character is, it's Penguin. So I've never seen this. I've seen a lot of the Pixar films, but this is one I've never seen. And Bugs Life is another one I haven't seen. This is missing things. Well, I've got the DVD, and there's a lot of extra features on there, so I've seen that. There's a version of this with an extra Blu-ray disc, and this also hasn't got the 3D disc, which was when this first announced. It was said that this was a 3D uh, release, which it wasn't. Caused a lot of confusion. I mean, I, I like the extra features on here, but you know, it's a still book. It's a Disney Pixar still book. So it's also, you know, already collectible, and I have my steel book, by the way. Don't bother even the sealed, apart from the Jack Reacher one. That's because that was very limited. Next one is another. This is a film I've never owned. This is Schwarzenegger, Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. Again, this one's sold out. I know that some people like with the Funny Nemo. Have had damaged ones, unfortunately, they can't get a replacement. This one's okay, and the funny Nemo one's okay. I've never seen this film before. I've heard of it, um, one of I think it was late 80s. But so I do like a lot of the Schwarzenegger films anyway, so should enjoy that one. This is a non steel book, this is Blowout, it's from Arrow Video. And this was originally released as an MGM DVD, and uh, Arrow got the rights to release on Blu ray. And quite a few extra pieces on there. Don't think there's any on the DVD, or there's minimal on the DVD. And this is their new star covers now, where it fills a whole front of the picture rather than having a border. And also one I've never seen. Uh, another steel book. This is Independence Day. And it's not embossed. I mean, probably could have embossed that. But no, it's a smooth front. And this is the same as the original Blu ray release, same disc connects everything. Nice artwork on there. I did have some others. Um, I had the black uh, steelbook release of Star Trek 11, which was scratched on the side. I had iRobot, which was scratched, and there's a paint mark or paint dent, whatever you want to call it, on the back. And same with uh, Black Swan. So rather than send them back for replacements, I've reordered them and I'll send the ones back. 
when I get the replacements once I've repaid for again and get refund. So I'll show you those in the video. So I'm not going to bother. And there's also a gangsters collection I've had from Amazon US. And the box it came in was fine, surprisingly. Normally I thought that would have got dented, but the disc or the sleeve inside on the case was ripped. So the so I can keep that copy and they're going to send me another one out. Free of charge. I'll make sure it's free of charge because the first order was in pounds and that order was in dollars and I'm fine I've ended up paying something for it. So I'll show that off. And the bonus to that was I was going to buy three of the titles separately. Um, White Heats, uh, Petrified Forest and what was the other one? Find the box. Uh, Public Enemy. Just because that would basically easy. So there's a rip there. The one I didn't bother with it was a little Caesar because the transfer there's a things missing, um, scenes missing on there. So, but I worked out the box set was the same price as the three individual ones. So I ordered the box set instead. So I'm getting the replacement of that soon, hopefully. And I say I had a DVD with it, which was told as Region One, which I couldn't play, but looks like it's a region free DVD because I've just tried it this morning on my PlayStation and it worked so I've got that and it's got a booklet but I'll show you that when I get the replacement just quickly show you the last title um, this is the steelbook version of Blowout same as the normal Blu-ray release in case you don't know I'm with Arrow titles and Master Cinema I buy both the steelbook a normal release um, still book I put on my still book collection and then the normal release will go in my normal arrow video or master cinema collection don't do that for normal releases just particular labels such as those two so that one so that's everything I've had so far all I've gone and bought quite a lot of titles there's a few more to come from this week and there's some more coming over the next few weeks of, as, as usual uh, not as many as this week because this week was quite mental really there's I think, yeah, 20 things came out this week would have been more but some of them got pushed back so I'll show you those in the video we're trying to keep this bit shorter again and it's gone over 23 minutes but I thought I might as well show you everything I've got so far now and then I can leave it probably a week or two for the next video so as usual please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching